Hi you guys, it's me Miss Menzer and I am so excited to read one of my favorite stories for you today. It's called And to Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street by Dr. Seuss. One of my favorite stories. I'm so excited. Here we go. Let's read. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street by Dr. Seuss. When I leave home to walk to school, Dad always says to me, Marco, keep your eyelids up and see what you can see. But when I tell him where I've been and what I think I've seen, he looks at me and sternly says, Your eyesight's much too keen. Stop telling such outlandish tales. Stop turning minnows into whales. Now what can I say when I get home today? All along the way to school and all the way back, I looked and I've looked and I've kept careful track. But all that I've noticed except my own feet was a horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. That's nothing to tell of and won't do at all. Of course, just a broken down wagon that's drawn by a horse? That can't be my story. That's only a start. I'll say that it that a zebra was pulling the cart. And that is a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Yes, the zebra is fine, but I think it's a shame. Such a marvelous beast with a cart that's so tame. The story would really be better to hear if I if the driver I saw was a charioteer. A gold and blue chariot, something to meet, rumbling like thunder down Mulberry Street. No, it won't do at all. A zebra is too small. A reindeer is better. He's fast and he's fleet, and he'll look mighty smart on old Mulberry Street. Hold on a minute. There's something wrong. A reindeer hates the way it feels to pull a thing that runs on wheels. He'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled. Hmm, a reindeer and sleigh. Say, anyone could think of that. Jack or Fred or Joe or not, even Jane could think of that. I'll, it isn't too late to make one little change. A sleigh and an elephant, there's something strange. I'll pick one with plenty of power and size, a blue one with plenty of fun in his eyes, and then just to give him a little more tone, I'll have a Raja with rubies perched on the throne. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But now I don't know. It still doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling a thing that's so light would whip around in the air like a kite. But he'd look simply grand with a big brass band. A band that's t so good should have someone to hear it. But it's going so fast that it's hard to keep near it. I'll put on a trailer. I know they won't mind if a man sits and listens while he's hitched on behind. But now is it fair? It's a, is it fair what I've done? I'll bet those wagons weigh more than a ton. That's really too heavy for a load for one beast. I'll give him some helpers. He needs two, at least. But now what worries me is this. Mulberry Street runs into bliss. Unless there's something I can fix up, there's going to be an awful traffic mix-up. It takes the police to do the trick, to guide them through where the traffic's thick. It takes police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll race at top speed with Sergeant Mulberry, Mulvaney himself in the lead. The mayor is there, and he thinks it's just grand, and he raises his hat as they dash by the stand. The mayor is there, and the aldermen too, all waving big banners of red, white, and blue. And that's a story that no one could beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street.
With a roar of its motor, an airplane appears and dumps out confetti while everyone cheers. And that makes a story that's really not bad, but it still could be better. Suppose that I add... A Chinese man who eats with sticks, a big magician doing tricks, a ten-foot beard that needs a comb, no time for more, I'm almost home. I swung around the corner and dashed through the gate, I ran up the steps, and I felt simply great, for I had a story that no one could beat, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But Dad said quite calmly, Just draw up your stool and tell me the sights on the way home from school. There was so much to tell, I just couldn't begin. Dad looked at me sharply and pulled at his chin. He frowned at me sternly from there in his seat. Was there nothing to look at, no people to greet? Did nothing excite you or make your heart beat? Nothing, I said, growing red as a beet but a plain horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. <laughs> That's it. That story is done. It's one of my favorite stories. I love his imagination and I love how he gets so excited about the things that his imagination is coming up with. And so it would be great for you today to spend some time thinking about something you could imagine. Feel free to draw it or create it or write about it and send it to me. I would love to hear your imaginative, your creative stories and your imagination at its best. Have a great day and thank you for listening to my story.